This is a GCS News Break. It's 4 p.m. and about 100 students are headed to the Media Center and the first floor atrium at Eastern High School. They're here to get help at the Learning Hub. Among the students is sophomore Isaiah Carter. He says he's been coming every day after school to get extra help with math. I needed a chance to um, get my grades up and feel like the Learning Hub would really provide that for me. And they make it a little bit more easier. And honestly, um, I feel a little bit more comfortable here, like doing work here and asking more questions here instead of in the classroom. Learning Hubs were relaunched this year at all 15 GCS traditional high schools. Students were selected for the opportunity based on risk factors for not graduating. About 2,000 students across the county are now signed up. We're giving each school a little bit of autonomy. We don't want to keep them restricted to a set uh, framework for this. So because different things work for different communities and schools based on what the students want. So you could have one school that has 20, 30, 40 kids in a library. And you may have five, six, seven staff members helping them out, roaming around with their expertise. You can have another school that the kids are separated into different rooms based on the curriculum that they need some help with. Assistant Principal Prince Canty says the number of attendees here has doubled in a very short amount of time because students are sharing the word in school. The hub has kind of grown into a safe haven for a lot of our students and um, we're seeing a lot of upperclassmen want to come in as well. Um, so I anticipate our numbers rising and I anticipate uh, the success growing. That sentiment is echoed by student Janiah Vasquez. Now a senior, she plans to graduate early and has several goals in mind for January. I want to go to a because I want to I want to study in the medical field. I want to become a doctor. But I don't want to rush in too fast into it because I still want to do the Navy too. Costs for all 15 high school learning hubs are provided by a grant from the Walton Family Foundation and the Michael and Susan Dell Foundation. GCS was one of only six nationwide recipients of the grant through an invitation-only competition. So the biggest hope is that, you know, we're meeting as many student needs as possible. And as we find more needs, we become more innovative to meet those student needs. I mean, to me, I think this is a work in progress forever, forever, because we're never going to be set. If we're set, I don't think we've done our job. This has been a GCS News Break.